Hello, are you ready for another lesson from the Mystery Bay? Our text this morning is taken from Luke, the 19th chapter, verse 10. <clears throat> for the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Well, let's take a look at what is in the Mystery Bay today. Ah, we have a tree. Well, we'll find out a little bit later what the tree has to do with our lesson today. But first, I want to ask you all a question. Have any of you ever gone to a parade but couldn't see over the person in front of you? It wasn't much fun. You could hear the music, but you couldn't see the marching band. And you definitely wouldn't be able to see the floats. Well, our story today is about a man who went to a parade, but was unable to see over the crowd. This was a special parade because the main attraction was Jesus. People had come from all over and lined the streets, hoping to get a glimpse of this man who had performed so many miracles, including raising Lazarus from the dead. One person in the crowd was just way too short. He couldn't see over the heads of all of those who had gathered. He tried to move closer, but it was helpless because once the people saw who it was that wanted to move even closer, to, they moved closer together and they blocked his way. You see, this man was Zacchaeus. Put Zacchaeus here by our tree, and you'll understand in a little bit. People didn't like Zacchaeus very much. He was a tax collector. And tax collectors in Jesus' day were very unpopular. And I'm sure you've probably even heard your mom and dad complain about the taxes. Well, Zacchaeus was determined not to give up because he really, really wanted to see Jesus. So he looked down the street, and what did he see but a sycamore tree? And that's where our tree comes in. He saw this sycamore tree, and it was right by the side of the road that Jesus would be traveling down. So he ran on ahead and he climbed up that tree. It probably looked pretty silly to see a grown man climbing a tree, but Zacchaeus knew that this was his only option if he wanted to see Jesus. Now, thinking he was well hidden among the tree leaves, he sat on a branch and patiently waited for Jesus to walk by. He knew he was getting closer because the crowd, the noise, was getting louder and louder. So he thought he'd be safe, and, and when Jesus walked by, he'd be able to see him. But boy, was he surprised when Jesus reached the tree and stopped walking. And he looked up in that tree and he saw Zacchaeus and he told Zacchaeus to get on down because he was going to go to his house. Wow, Zacchaeus could hardly believe what he had just heard. Jesus was coming to his house? The people in the crowd, they were shocked and maybe even a little bit jealous. 
You see, Zacchaeus was one of the most hated men in Jericho. He was considered to be a thief and a cheat. See, as the chief tax collector, he had become very rich. He had this beautiful home. He had fine clothes and lots of money. And he got it all by cheating the people. He did this because he would collect his taxes from each of them that owed it. But he didn't just get the tax that he owed, they owed. He actually collected more. And then he would take that extra tax for himself. That's how he became rich. Well, the people could not believe that Jesus would actually go to the home of a man like that, someone that they considered to be a sinner. But Jesus was not worried about how others viewed him, as his mission came from God, and it involved loving all people and granting forgiveness to anyone who asked. And I'm sure from all the various Bible stories that you have heard, you've always seen Jesus helping those who others didn't want to have anything to do with. So, spending time with Jesus made Zacchaeus want to change. He decided he would get half of his money to the poor. Oh, that was a pretty good idea. But he wanted to do even more. And so he said that if he had cheated anyone, he was going to pay them back four times what he had taken from them. So if somebody owed a dollar, they were going to get four dollars back, and so on. Because Zacchaeus had repented from what he had done wrong, Jesus forgave him and said, Today salvation has come to this house. So it doesn't matter if you're short like Zacchaeus, or you're tall like all the other people in the crowd. When you meet Jesus, he will change your life too. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, when we meet Jesus, it is a life-changing experience for us. And we thank you for your love and your forgiveness. We know that whenever we do anything wrong, we just can come to you and ask to be forgiven. And because of Jesus dying for all our sins, we are forgiven. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, there is a Bible song about Zacchaeus. I'm not going to sing it because I don't think you really want to hear me sing. So instead, I'm just going to show you the motions and say the words. And maybe you'll be able to find it on the internet and then you'll have the music. But it goes... Zacchaeus was a wee little man, a wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Lord came walking by, he stopped and looked up in that tree and said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. 
Well, if you can, try and read or have your parents read this story about Zacchaeus. It's found in Luke, the 19th chapter, verses 1 through 10. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you will tune in next week for another lesson from the Mystery Bay. And as I have challenged you before, if any of you have an item that you would like me to tell us a story about, or maybe you have a story you want to hear, please let me know, because I'd love to do it. Well, that's it for today, and thanks again, and have a good week.